And as we think about poor Kaylee, now we have another Florida toddler to think about. This, this toddler also, this little girl has died a senseless death. And cops say it is because of her mother. Some eerie, eerie parallels here. Just like Casey Anthony, cops say Tiffany Mitchell's first instinct was to lie when she was asked about her little girl's death. Does that sound familiar? Look how similar these two look. And we found a photo of the child, little Kaylin, Kaylin, on findagrave.com. She died after swallowing oxycodone. But cops say the mom told them, initially anyway, she had no idea where little Kaylin had gotten the drugs. Well, now, cops say Tiffany Mitchell has changed her story and admits that she left the drugs on her nightstand while she took a shower. Uh, straight out to Tiffany Mitchell's attorney, Jimmy Brown. Uh, thank you for joining us, uh, Jimmy Brown. Uh, first of all, I understand there's some breaking news, and your client has just gotten out on bail. Tell us about that. Apparently, that happened moments ago. That's correct. We had a bail here this morning about 8.15, and she has uh, just recently been released from the Hernando County Jail. All right. You, you got to speak up, sir, because you're, you're on, sounds like you're at the bottom of a well. Um, okay. Uh, people are saying there are eerie similarities to the Casey Anthony case. Your client, an attractive young uh, female uh, in her 20s, also a child approximately uh, two years old, uh, both lied to law enforcement initially, and uh, both deaths involved at least talk anyway of an accident, an accident. Um, obviously, the Casey Anthony case, the accident, depending on who you believe, is an accidental drowning, a chloroform overdose. In the case of your client, it's um, oxycodone which is also known as hillbilly heroin. Uh, what do you have to say for your client? Do you see a similarity? Even the names are similar, Kaylee, and the child who died in the case of the client you represent, Kaylin. Your thoughts, sir? Well, I think there are certainly super, uh, superficial similarities. The, uh, the names are fairly similar, that's true. The, uh, the ages of the children are similar. The, uh, the ages of the mother is similar. And the, uh, the allegations, at least as to one of the counts that Casey Anthony faced over there uh, for uh, culpable negligence, that's the aggravated manslaughter of the child, are, are similar as well. And the underlying idea that perhaps the uh, the mothers, uh, Casey Anthony over there, of course, uh, my client, Mr. Peer, uh, were neglectful because of some some desire for uh, individual gratification, or just because it wasn't uh, wasn't convenient to them. That's that's there. You know what? I'm having a hard time hearing you, 